Welcome back. You are still watching Morning Live. Let's now get into your sports news in this hour. Now, this weekend is a huge one for South African football lovers as one of the marquee fixtures on the local soccer calendar takes place where Soweto Giants, Kays, the Chiefs and Orlando Pirates go battle it out at the F&B Stadium. And then on Sunday, Mamelodi Sundowns play host to Moroccan side Widad Casablanca in the African Football League second leg final. To help us talk about this, we've roped in a man that knows all too well about the pressures of the game of football former mamelodi sundowns captain and former Bafana player and sabc sport analyst Shlompo Kekane. good morning but how are you good morning good morning v. thanks for having me it's an absolute pleasure Shlump, let's start and speak about tomorrow's fixture the soweto derby because yeah. it seems like it doesn't matter how both of these teams are performing at any given moment in time mm. but when the soweto derby comes up mm -hmm. the nation is separated into two <laughs> Families will be divided tomorrow. Uh, we all know that it is the big fixture in, in, our, in our country, not, uh, not maybe in our country, in our continent, because um, I mean, these two teams you know, have been supported by so many people. Um, of course, their recent form is not um, up to where they should be, mm. but um, that doesn't take away the, the rivalry between these two teams. And um, I just know when these two teams meet, uh, there's always uh, talking points, there's always people going home having you know something to chat about so it's gonna be very interesting tomorrow of course um, to see two t these two teams meet um, players knows that they've they've got the huge responsibility to make sure that people are smiling on the street uh, I don't know who's gonna win um, but I just want people to score goals for for the people that will be coming to the stadium tomorrow and you speak about form because a lot of people say when you come up into a fixture, and I'm sure you've experienced this yeah. in your Mamelodi Sundowns days, there's just certain teams that you come up against where form is out of the window yeah. because more than the three points, it's just the bragging rights that yeah. you're also playing for. So players tomorrow will never get uh, enough motivation. Like the motivation itself is the event, you know, the, mm. the, the, that playing at Derby. Of course, they are motivated enough to, to, to know that that the match itself is so important. They need to win the match. They need to entertain. Um, so they are under pressure because, uh, you know, the past results, which is uh, the, the, the matches that they, they're coming from, they don't really matter when, this, when these two mm. teams is, uh, meet. So it will be very interesting to see who, uh, who's going to be brave enough to, to open their, 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 their lines, who's mm. going to be brave enough to use the ball. Um, yeah, I've seen I've seen the players that um, you know are in these two teams. Some of them they are still, still trying to find themselves. You know, if the form. Some are new in the team. Uh, some will be playing their first derby uh, uh, of their life. But I, I, these are matches that will make players and also can break players. So mm. I hope players um, don't fall for you know the talk on the street. They just have to focus on on the on the job and make sure that they they, they deliver on the day. When you talk about delivering on the day, where do you think the game is going to be won and lost tomorrow? Are we looking at a very hectic midfield battle? Yeah. Are we looking to the goalkeepers to possibly save the day for their team? The emotion part of it is going to decide the match. So whoever is calmer in this situation, remember that we're talking about these two teams are fragile at this, at this moment. Mm. They haven't been having a good run. So whoever is not going to allow the emotion to take over, um, we stand a chance of winning the match because remember the, the two fans that will be coming to the stadium, the, the, the both teams, they know that they have to win the match. Mm -hmm. They will be under pressure and the, you know, the raw, I, I'm anticipating to, to feel the, 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 you know, the tension that will be on the, on the stands, you know, just to make sure that the team performs. But on the same, on the, on the same side, you know, in the same time, the, the, the same teams that will be performing there, mm -hmm. they know that the three points is more important than they must, you know, um, be up on top of the of the lock, or even uh, closer to where you know they'll be, you know, co competing to with Mamelodi Sundowns and everybody else that is mm. in the top eight, the top four. Yeah. So before we move in and start speaking about the AFL, I just want to wrap up the Soweto Derby discussion. Yeah. The two coaches, Jose Ribeiro up against Kevin Johnson. Which mm -hmm. one of the two do you think will have the edge? Because it's not just about the players on the field, but yeah. it's about the men that are leading the players. Well, I think uh, Jose has been with the team for, for too long, which I believe it gives them enough chance to, to play the way they've been playing. Mm. Um, they and haven't... hopefully score goals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they haven't been scoring goals, unfortunately. But uh, I think, like I said, it, this is a match where, you know, a lot of surprises you know, can occur on the match because 
you know, it's just that message that, uh, you know, put people on the, on the edge. So, mm. um, Jose has been with the team for long. He just won the trophy not recently. So, I think uh, that gives him, you know, you know that uh, upper hand. But yeah. more than anything, it's a game that will be played in the 90 minutes. Um, I see a Chiefs that will try to respond because big teams normally they respond to, to setbacks and mm -hmm. um, you, you test your character as a, as a big team after you know, having a rough patch of, of, of performances and mm -hmm. I think uh, players need to take it personal. Uh, this comes Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, from, uh, from Saturday or, or, or going forward because um, they can be in a position where they, they, they find themselves in and then they be happy with that. Mm. All right, uh, that's Schlomper's thoughts in terms of the Soweto Derby. Of course, you can catch it live on SABC1 tomorrow. I'll be part of the team bringing you that. Let's switch now into the AFL. Yeah. Overall, what do you make of the standard of the competition <laughs> from what you've seen? Because you've been yeah. part of the analysts that have been yeah. bringing the AFL to South Africans. To be, to be honest, I was so skeptical about the tournament when they started it. And I didn't know how it's gonna, it was going to fit in, in the calendars mm. of, of our league and, and other countries. But um, as the, the, the game started and I realized this is actually a, a good tournament. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, you manage to see, you know, the different game model of different countries. And that helped in a, in a sense of see where we are as in terms of the level as a, as a continent. So I think, um, of course, there's so many um, logistics that needs to be fixed there mm -hmm. and there. But... The tournament itself was uh, was a success, to be honest. And um, I look at every player that played in that tournament. They, they, I'm sure they look the game differently now, mm. and they know where they are in terms of the level, and they know where they need to improve. Um, the teams that are in the final now, um, they, they 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 played their hearts out to see themselves in the final, and it was not easy. Mm. It was in easy matches, and um, the Sundowns themselves. I think the game that brought them to the final is the first match in Luanda where. I believe the f their first first half, 45 minutes in in mm -hmm. that in that match, they were nowhere uh, to near their their, their best uh, performances. Of course, credit to the goalkeeper who saved them and put them in the back in, in, into the game, and and then they started g gaining confidence from there. Um, the way that team they know how to win football matches, and mm -hmm. they, they showed even last season they came into South Africa. And they managed to knock Mamlili Sundance out of the semi-final of the Champions League. Mm. Now they are in the in the final again. Mm. Of course, they want to redeem themselves because they lost the Champions League last season to Al Ali. So this is the tournament. I mean, the new trophy for 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 African League. I think whoever wins or whoever takes the chances on on Sunday, which I believe is a tight, tight, tight match, uh, wins the trophy, new trophy. <laughs> the new trophy, it is the African Football League. You can also catch that final live on SABC One. Klompo Gekane joining us this morning will be one of the analysts that will be bringing you that encounter. Of course, uh, Sundowns 2-1 down in terms of aggregate, but hey, the Yellow Nation can come out and watch that final. All you have to do is dress in yellow and you can get into the stadium for free.